Last week, Leela flew from Utah to California because our daughter Ashlyn was about to give birth to our first granddaughter. Once labor started, they were like, Grandpa, it's time. This was about 1 a.m. So I went to bed and planned on getting up and driving to Utah as soon as I woke up. About 6.32 in the morning, the most perfect creature in the entire world ever was born. Later that day, I started driving to Utah alone to meet my new granddaughter. At about 6 p.m., I was on the I-15 North going 75, 80 miles an hour in the left lane. It was dark out, traffic was pretty light, and I was in my Ford Fusion, which was packed with all of the junk my wife wanted us to bring up for the new granddaughter. Without warning, I see something to my left jump in front of my car when it was only a foot in front of my car, and suddenly, My name's Trevor Jones. I'm the Hollywood editor turned full-time real estate agent. My wife and I are killing it with video. If you want us to show you how you can do the same thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. There's one thing we can do that can make our videos more impactful, more powerful, more engaging, more likely to lead to closed business above anything else. And this is something that we all too often overlook in the real estate industry. I'm not gonna make you wait to the end of this video to tell you what that one thing is. That one thing is story. The reason is the more emotionally invested we are in anything, the less logical and the less objective we become. We all tend to think that we make decisions using logic and reason and facts and figures, all the stuff controlled by our newer brain, the neocortex. But the fact of the matter is that we don't. Our behavior is controlled with our primitive brain, the limbic system, the center of emotion. And that primitive brain, that limbic system has no capacity for language. Our behaviors, our decisions are controlled by our emotions and then later justified by our neocortex, by our logic and reason. About five years ago, I had a conversation with my wife that went something like this. Hey, Leela, the Ford Fusion gets 47 miles a gallon, way better than that gas hog Infinity. And I drive like 65 miles a day. So just imagine how much money we'd save if we got a brand new car. Now, by the time I had that conversation with her, I'd been obsessing about hybrids for weeks and logic, facts, and figures had nothing to do with my desire to get a new car. And she just shook her head as we walked out of the dealership a few days later. Oh, and speaking of the Ford Fusion, you can see the fate of that car by clicking the link up here and watching that video on my other channel. The reason we should always tell stories in our videos is because when we tell stories, magical chemicals are released in our brains and these chemicals make us feel things, tell the right stories, release the right hormones, and your viewers will become emotionally invested. When dopamine is released in the brain, your memory is improved, there's more focus, there's more attention, there's more motivation. So how do you get dopamine released in your viewers' brains? You do it with good storytelling. You tell a story that leaves them anticipating, that leaves them wanting more. It doesn't have to be a big cliffhanger like I kind of did in the beginning of this video, but you want to build a little bit of suspense. Any great movie has a story arc, and any story arc has you wanting to watch the rest of the movie so you stick around to the ends, so you can see what finally happens. Last week was pretty amazing. If you're not a grandparent, you can't begin to imagine the joy I felt holding my first granddaughter for the first time. But a few weeks before that, we got a different kind of news. Leela and I work out pretty regularly. We don't drink, we don't smoke, we eat pretty clean, we try to take care of ourselves, but sometimes, no matter what you do, life has other plans for you. Leela went in for her annual mammogram recently and she opted for the 3D version, the Tomo, and something appeared in the mammogram. And you know how the tech can't really tell you anything, but Leela knew right then that something was up. After another mammogram and a biopsy, it turns out that Leela has invasive lobular carcinoma, or breast cancer. Surgery is scheduled. We don't know for sure what will happen next, what the outcome is gonna be. We'll find out after they biopsy the lymph nodes and run some other tests and Honestly, it's been pretty rough on my wife not knowing what her future is gonna look like. We made a video to document Leela's journey so far and specifically to encourage women to get their annual mammograms and to opt for the 3D Tomo because it is so much more effective. 
When you tell a story like that one, a hormone called oxytocin is released in the brain. That makes someone feel more relaxed, more connected, more bonded to you, and more trusting. So how do you get oxytocin released in your viewers' brains? Well, you create empathy with the characters in your story. It, it makes them feel more human. One way to do that is to be a little bit vulnerable when you're talking to your viewers. It's okay to share bits about yourself. We're all human beings. We all go through struggles. It's okay to share some of yours on camera with your viewers. The third hormone released in the brain we're going to talk about today is endorphins. When endorphins are released in the brain, you feel more relaxed, more creative, and more focused. And how do you spike your viewers' endorphins? Enough! You are all of you beneath me. I am a god, you dull creature. And I will not be bullied by that. Puny god. You make them laugh. If you got a sense of humor, make sure you take advantage of it and use it on camera. I learned most of the stuff I talked about in this video from a guy named David Phillips. His TED Talk is linked below. He calls these three hormones, dopamine, oxytocin, and endorphins, the angel's cocktail. If you can get the angel's cocktail brewing in your viewers' brains with every video you create, you're gonna be completely unstoppable. I've got some tips on how to do that and some ideas on how to come up with stories in your real estate and business videos in my next video right here, which you should totally check out. If you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. I can't wait to see the stories you have to tell.